We're in the truck. Oh yeah. We're driving. We just picked something up, didn't we? It's my future car, guys. All right, so Shaw, well, Shaw's really trying now. He really, really wants this one. Is this reaching? I mean, this is reaching. He's trying to beat Dusty. Oh, I got it. So <laughs> he thinks he thinks he's finally got something he might be able to beat Dusty with. This will beat it all day. And even if it doesn't, there's so many other aspects it'll beat you in. So we'll okay. Well, we're not going to tell you what it is quite yet. We'll let you guys decide. But take a guess what he's got in the back of the truck. We got the trailer. We got that enclosed trailer yeah so you, know, you know it's special if it's enclosed that means we uh had to be very careful careful with this vehicle what so. do you think roberto I'm fucking thrilled he's <laughs> so excited I'll tell you what else we are oh hungry. can i go pee hungry. there hungry oh you want to pee by the tree i'm not gonna be right now though um, the problem back, is right? the problem is we can't really like, pull in there yeah. well not anymore we'll come back we'll come back, we'll okay. come back to that we'll tree so you can like pee on it yeah, yeah. We'll in the meantime there. I really want to get some food. I'm really into the food yeah, thing. He's got to go. He's got to go back. He's got appointments. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's promise time. All right, back to the shop. Roberto's on the phone with a scammer. No, not a scammer. He's on but, the phone but, with but a my curiosity, telemarketer. My curiosity is like, I, I mean, okay, so so this is all getting me a good deal on a wire transfer. But is that the basis of this speaker? It's not. Oh, it's more than that. Okay. Speaker. Make your payments through sending checks. We simplify the process for you. Oh, okay. The network, the network is entirely free. So um, I can send checks faster. You can track your payments. Okay. Um, you can send it as easy as sending an email. Oh, the network is does. free to use. I can't uh, Ask him about your boyfriend. Money. Exchange, but if you're just doing domestic or US to US, you're good. Now, here's a here's a here's a real quick question. So, like, is there any sort of like external tracking on this stuff? Because I will, I do have this one issue. So, I have two boyfriends. I have one here in the states, and I have one in Europe. And what happens is, okay. I send the European one a bunch of money all the time, and like, I'm, I always get scared that my you know American boyfriend's gonna catch on to this because they don't know about each other. So, is there like a is there's no way of like tracing this stuff, right? All right. So now you're playing with me. Yeah, I am. Dude. This is a weird phone call. Okay. Alright. Okay, uh, so I take it then in that case you're not interested? I'm not, man. I'm sorry. It's all good. Alright, enjoy your day. You too, There you go, and that's how you, that's how you make a phone call. I you said that. That was awesome. That's how you make a phone call to Roberto. But, but why? I, I want to know why he. You should have been offended because why was he all of a sudden thinking you were playing with him because you said you had two boyfriends? You should have said. Yeah. Should I mean, that's that's yeah. hateful. I don't know. I mean, I guess the backstory is this, they keep calling me and like I just hang up the second they ask me for what a bank. Yeah, you're a banker, blah, blah blah. And then today I just wanted to talk to him. There you go. I don't think he's calling back. Probably. Well, he's not. But no, one of his. Fuck, I mean, it sounds like someone else is gonna call back. Don't you worry about that. He just put a little star next to your name. And you're gonna get a call back from their like from the gay department. <laughs> you, know, you know what, man? I want to just keep talking to my two boyfriends. Sometimes you just gotta talk to people. One night. Charger. This one is a 392. What do you think it's gonna do, Marcus? Uh, probably not 392. What do you think? What's your guess? I'm gonna say it's. At least gonna hit 300. 350? Yeah. Okay, that's a fair guess. Let's see what it does. Mark is gonna finish strapping it down and we'll see what it does. Not bad. Yeah. So, For if the you of this car too, it's, it's fast. yeah. So if you've got a Hemi Charger and you want to know what it does on the dyno, that's pretty close.
Dyno number two today is going to be a G35. This one's going to have uh, a still and supercharger on it, uh, 600 cc injectors that come with that kit, and we're tuning it with UpRev. So you guys know the drill on this one if you haven't seen the other videos. UpRev is our software of choice for the Nissan stock ECU platforms on these G's and Z's, and Marcus approves. Give me, give me the run now. What's on this thing? This is a still in supercharger, 600 cc injectors, um, full exhaust, and sporting mods. This is also an automatic, which is a little bit different, but hey, I don't discriminate. Nope. Um, and it we're makes tuning power. on. Automatics are usually faster, anyways. Exactly. No shifting, right? Nope. As long as they can hold it. So, yep. um, pretty basic setup. Again, still in supercharger is a nice kit for these cars. They usually pick up about 70 to 80 horsepower over stock with this kit. Sometimes a little more, depending on how happy the car is. What do they make stock usually? Stock they put down about 230, 240 ish, somewhere in there. So we're looking for 300 or anything north of 300. Anything in that 300 to 320 range is a okay with me. Tuning a stock ECU on 93 octane, so we can't push it too hard and automatic, so we're not going to push it that hard anyway. Uh, I think that's a regular pulley. I don't think that's the small pulley, so this should be running about uh, seven or eight pounds of boost. Let's get to the it. The only thing I'd say to watch out for is the revving in the back. Think so? Maybe. Marcus, are you telling me this car's too low? No, there's no such thing as too low, but it might rub on the dyno. Okay. <laughs> That's true. Low cars do rub on the dyno, but I don't think we're going to have a problem here. Let's see what happens. So 336, it was actually right around 340 to the wheel, that was the end. So um, that's about right for this setup, like we were talking about. Maybe a little bit on the strong side, which is okay, but still right where it needs to be. So that's the uh, still in supercharger, tuned on uprev Osiris. So let's see what the boys are doing. You called me fat. I did? Yeah, you fucking called me fat, man. I told you you didn't fit in my seat. I fit in your seat. Okay. You proved me wrong. Are you are you happy? You called me fat. I never said you were fat. I said you were bigger than me, that's all. Listen, I said he was bigger than me. That doesn't take much. I'm not a big guy at all. Am I am I bigger than you? Yeah. So you might not fit in my seat either. I don't know. You're gonna tell your European boyfriend on me? Is he gonna beat me up? Is he gonna is he gonna slap me? <laughs> Whatever. So, I'm going to show you guys the car that we uh, we brought up on the trailer. This is a pretty cool car that not too many times comes through the shop. This car's been here before a long time ago with a different owner, but um, it's back. So we've got a Lamborghini Gallardo, and this one is not stock. This one actually is an underground car. This is a stage three underground car that uh, has a couple of turbos on it that we think are worn out. They're, they're getting a little old now so we're gonna go ahead and take her down and uh, most likely replace the turbos or rebuild them and we'll test everything. Probably put it on the dyno again to make sure everything's good but it's a pretty sweet car. It's a black with red accents. It's pretty neat. So any of you know Lambos knows that the underground cars are pretty fast. Um, I think this one is uh, set up for like 800 horsepower or so on pump gas and probably around 12, 1300 horsepower on race gas, if I remember correctly. But we'll see more of that. Not going to be working on that the rest of the day. Um, we got our car show tomorrow. It's at Tijuana Flats, Cinco de Mayo. If you're in the area, please come out. We'd love to have you and at least come and say hi to me.